How's it going, everybody? It's your boy Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So listen up. We have to break down NVIDIA stock in this one. You know the drill. We're going to break down the charts, my thoughts, what I'm looking to do. And maybe later in the video, we'll break down the indexes, maybe some other stocks. But guys, first, hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Very important. And get your free stocks for a moo moo. Check out the link down below once you open up your account and fund away. With at least $100, you get five free stocks and a $30 cash reward. And fund your account with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks. And overall, for now, your uninvested cash will earn up to 8.1%. APY, which guys, it's a no-brainer. So check out the link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo. And with that being said, cheers, guys. Let's get right into the video. So it's about 1 p.m. right now on the East Coast. I think you're watching this after the bell. Either way, we're down 3.2% on NVIDIA stock right now, and we're trading just under $142 per share right now um, down almost five dollars per share and guys it looks like we are going for the lows right now from yesterday and the day before where they reported their numbers on Wednesday they reported their earnings and the stock went down to about 138 so now we're at 141 and yesterday on the low we hit around uh, 140.75, a little bit under that in the pre-market. So it looks like that is where NVIDIA is going to test right now, right? If I draw out the channel, we can see on the five-day, five-minute here, we've been trading pretty sideways this entire week. Other than the one-off pop we saw yesterday where we hit that all-time high, almost at $153 per share. So no doubt NVIDIA is consolidating over the last couple of days, um, you know, after earnings as well. It's been consolidating. And if I pull up the 10-day chart, you guys can see that even better. I mean, look, if I clear the drawing set, uh, maybe pull up the one-hour chart, we've been flat pretty much this entire month. I mean, guys, look, we were at 148, 150 to start off the month. That was the high. And look, the support all month has been around where we are now, 140, 141. We had the one-off dump um, to about 136. Then we recovered. So what direction are we going to pick? Heading into next week, the next couple of weeks, what direction are we going to pick? Will NVIDIA break under 140? I'll set my alert there right now. I'll do one of my alerts. Mark is at or below 140 and I'll do another one at you guessed it 150 mark is at or above $150 per share let me do that boom there we go uh, so what direction are we going to pick do we break out of 150 start pushing to all-time highs again or do we fall under 140 um, and start going down to 130 132 uh, we can see right here that was the low from the end of last month, October. So patience, patience is what it comes down to here, guys. Um, and for me, I'm just holding on. I'm not selling. I didn't buy any more today or yesterday. I did a little bit last week, uh, but I'm not buying any more as of now. I'm just simply holding on to my shares. And in the grand scheme of things, guys, even though we're trading sideways, we're still, and by, by trading sideways, I mean in the short term, uh, but in the grand scheme of things, we're still looking phenomenal. We're uptrending, making higher lows. Um, you guys can see, even though we're pulling down today about 3.5%, 3, 3.5%, 3 we're still above the 180 SMA. And if I actually clear the drawing set here on the four-hour chart, we also arguably have an ascending triangle. I mean, do we not? It's pretty obvious. You guys see it right here. Yes, we're pulling down, but we are above the 180 SMA. Like I said, we're holding a higher low right here, and we've been holding higher lows for a couple of weeks, right? And resistance, obviously, like I've said, is at $150 per share. If we're able to get out of that point, the triangle could play out. And even in the meantime, guys, we could be playing in this window 
right here between 142 to about $150 per share. This window right here is pretty wide open. So that's a quick rundown on what we're looking like uh, right now on NVIDIA. NVDA is the ticker for those uh, that didn't know, which I doubt anybody out there didn't know what the ticker was. But yeah, that's a quick breakdown. What do you guys think about NVIDIA? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button on this video, by the way. And before we break down some other stocks, don't forget to sign up to the email list. It's free. Put your first name and your email address using that link in the description box down below. And I send you every Monday my top three stocks for the week. Again, it's free. So check out the link down below. Make sure you guys uh, sign up for that. And in terms of other stocks, yes, NVIDIA is in the red, but not all stocks are in the red right now. We do have some nice juicy green across the board. Uh, we have stocks like Macy's, funny enough, moving today. Uh, we have Macy's up 7%, heading towards a multi-week high at about 100, or not 100, geez, That'd be nice for Macy's, more like 16, quite the difference. Uh, but we're heading to that multi-week high at about 1650, 1675, uh, which we clearly can see that's a big resistance. And if we're able to get out of there on Macy's, let's say we break over $17, we do have a wide open gap to fill all the way up to about uh, $19 a share. So keep your eyes on that on Macy's, ticker symbol M. Uh, let's see what else is moving today. We have Disney continuing uh, to move a little bit here after reporting earnings. They're building on the gains, which is nice. Uh, Disney continues to move here up around 1% on the day. Uh, let's see anything in the red, guys. Forget about what's in the green. Let's see what is in the red other than NVIDIA. So it looks like here we have a lot of big tech in the red, guys. Amazon is down on the day about 0.3%. Amazon has seen a very nice pull down uh, to the 180 SMA here on the four hour chart, which could easily act as support here, guys. So keep your eyes on AMZN. Meta is also down on the day about 1%. It looks like uh, we're still consolidating above 540, 545, which was a multi month resistance. Then we saw the triangle play out. We broke out. Now we're pulling down, consolidating above uh, 540, 550. So this could very well act as a launching pad uh, for Meta stock. Maybe we bounce off here, end up going a lot higher. So that is M E T A. Uh, let's see what else in terms of big tech. Obviously, Google is down. Uh, we talked about Google, how they might be broken up, yada, yada, yada. They were talking about a couple days ago how they should be forced to sell Google Chrome, share their data, yada, yada, yada. So Google's down 1.5% on the day right now. Uh, let's see, Alibaba's down, Chinese stock, uh, ticker symbol BABA, gap down today, down 32 Percent, But yeah, other than that, guys, at least on my watch list, um, it's pretty green. We're pretty green out there, looking good. Uh, a lot of green. My stocks that I own today that are green are Palantir, SoFi, uh, my own CrowdStrike. That's nicely in the green. Uh, let's see, anything else here on the watch list that I own as of now? Not seeing anything. Oh, AMD's up around a quarter percent. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments or on the likes up. Do not forget to subscribe here on YouTube and get your free stocks from Moo Moo while the deal lasts. I'm telling you, man, you only have a couple more days to do it. Use that link down below or go to stasurfast.com slash Moo Moo. Open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five free stocks and a $30 cash reward and fund your account with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks and overall your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1% APY. So guys, again, use that link down below or go to stocksurfast.com slash moo Get your free stocks. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next video.